Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and this model in front of us, but we will not model today today I will talk about visual styles of Fusion I'm a hobby user, I'm not a professional, so I will not talk about productivity or stuff like that I just talk uh, how I like to use the software this is from a little question, that's from my last video uh, from Julian, around uh, 912 uh, you catch your drop. We're gonna hide badges for now, and I've been wondering how. Magic, of course. Everything you don't know is magic. But what I do is down here you have display settings. I was using the keyboard shortcuts, and they are here under visual styles. There are a couple I like to use. Uh, normally control 6 and control 4 because they're shaded with visible edges the one you see on screen now and simply only shaded this hides the edges not very useful on a, like a mechanic thing like this I'm going to turn off edges again we prefer to see the edges but if you work with something like the previous video this type of vase you get these lines that can be a bit uh, obscuring if you want to check how things look so you can turn them off and have a look like this and I have another one here, also still on organic. We, okay, we look at the edges, things are flowing in the right direction, but are the faces connecting nicely? Hide the edges, we can have a look. There are also, also inspections tools that can help you, help you check curvatures and things, but this just gives you a fast representation of changing how things look in front of you. And we have a couple of other styles that I like to use sometimes. We're going to do display settings and have a look at them. We have an, of course, wireframe. Wireframe is really good because you can see through your mechanical model. And in this case, we can also animate it or drive the joints. Uh, we can have a look how things move. Are they touching? Are there any collisions between anything in our model? I like to look at this because, yeah, you can see through things and you don't get confused by faces and stuff. Gonna move like and do escape to stop it. Wait for fusion to move back. So that is wireframe, and we also have wireframe with uh, hidden edges, which I really don't like. If you specifically look at the holes here, if I do uh, with hidden edges, you can see they are a bit hard to see. You can see silver hidden edges, but we can't see the perimeter of the cylinder that goes down there. And the last one visual style wireframe with visible edges only this one i like this is very useful if you need to capture an image we have this under file up here that's an option to capture an image you can capture the full screen with uh, basically the work space without any of these fancy uh, things we're using within the software and you end up with a picture with something like this this just captured earlier. This is quite simple, but for something more like this, this happens to be a work project. Uh, if I would do a drawing from a top or something, there are things obscuring. And if you're going to show this for people who are not used to seeing drawings and understanding how things are layered on top of each other, this is a really easy way to just turn it slightly sideways, turn on wireframe uh, with uh, what is it called now? Sorry wireframe with visible edges only is the word i was looking for and you can capture this image and show people and most people will understand this image this is like something which our brain can understand immediately so with that said that's the part and of course we have one more thing i'll talk about up here in the view cube if i turn on the oh i'm gonna turn on this sketch this is do nothing grinder but it does something really nice it draws an ellipse that's the whole idea of this mechanism in this case, I have perspective with auto faces activated up here. You can select from the view cube, right click and select. You can do the autographic perspective or perspective with auto faces. I prefer this one, last one, because the perspective one, you can see it shows like perspective. So things get like way it would look in real life almost, but it also makes it a bit hard to see if a mechanism is working correctly by selecting perspective with auto faces or simply autographic, which makes it stay autographic the whole time, in dependent how you view it. it. It makes it easy to see how things line up, but I prefer perspective with auto faces. That's my preference. Gonna turn on the colors of the shaded with visible edges on. Gonna hide the sketch. And now we're gonna talk. You can see I have some colors on my component, but I really do not have any colors of them I'm using display component colors shift n so i'm going to hide them from now 
if you have some strange uh, appearance or something like that can make it really hard to model things shift and on and off turns on and off the components uh, coloring and you can see at the same time as i do that these colors down here pops up and disappear these are of course the same colors so if you have this color here it's the same connected to the component here and i like even if i turn this on and off i want these colors to be on the whole time so what i do sorry uh, i turn off the component display component color so i see my appearance move over to the little icon to all, all to the right behind the at the end of a timeline and you have component color swatch if you check that these uh, indicators component in the color indicators will always both in browser and down with timeline will always be on independent if i turn the component coloring on or off that i like as a very useful feature let's see we're done that let's turn it on so we can have a look at other things and um, so we have the whole time we've been working with white background which is called photo booth we can find these in environment uh, they are quite different i like this is my personal effort. i like photo booth and i like infinity pool infinity pool is like a darker version i'm trying to have a sketch here we can look at that later uh, like a darker version of photo booth if you want a really dark version you have environment dark sky that turns i dislike this slightly because the component coloring becomes very dull it's a bit hard to see and of course this is not a dark mode all the menu bars are still in bright white or close to white bright gray you might call it to infinity pool and i like those but they are two quite new ones which are very nice but i'm going to show you now if i move uh, the cursor around you can see it yeah it highlights the profiles and stuff like that quite normally but there are one new and one old down here that's called tranquility blue and river rubicon and they are quite nice they make things pop but they also make the sketch profiles pop so sorry if because now the screen might flash a bit if you move a mouse cursor about a sketch profile they turn white not blue anymore because the background is blue so turning the sketch profile blue would be very not very useful it's the same with river to see environment river rubicon it also turns the sketches white i like really like how the component coloring is popping with this dark background but the problem is in my opinion that if you're working at the evening you have lower light and you get this really if you have a multitude of sketches with profiles it just keeps on flashing you even see it can be really hard because the sketch lines disappear you can find them here but if you have sketches on top of each other or things close to each other everything just turns white it's just my personal reference so i don't like this but i like uh, infinity pool nice if you want a bit lower light or what i use for my videos because they are easier to see and we have best the photo booth setting i'm gonna hide the sketch for now so those are a lot of it like environment and stuff but we have some things that just affect the model these are effects you find an effects down here you have some of the environment or ground plane and ground shadow let's start with those if we have a look at this model here it's like a 3d spline moving around i like the ground shadow here you can turn it off if you want to do that you find it effects ground shadow uh, it makes a thing float in the air it depends on how you like to look at things i normally have it on it doesn't bother them that, that much uh, but there's another setting let's jump over to this one it's gonna hide now i'm gonna hide the edge of control 4 uh, you can see this really dark spots here that's from these protruding points of the sine wave if i go down to display setting effects and turn off the object shadow these disappear there's another effect called uh, ambient occlusion uh, i like to have that on that gives me some references in which direction things are going and this is how i like it but there's one other thing with uh, the object shadow if we look at the bottom of things let's turn it on again 
object shadow you can if something gets this strange artifact but it really doesn't exist that is just a result of a simplified render ending i think and you get some really dark the same with this here if you turn it around you can see the bottom is really dark of this model if you want to do things so if i turn off effects object channel turn it off it gets a bit brighter and easier to see things but the ambient occ occlusion still gives me some shadows if i turn that off at two effects ambient occlusion it gets even brighter so that's a bit of a taste how i want to look at things ambient occlusion on and go back to this one and turn off the object shadow so we can have a look at it uh, effects object shadow. sometimes you can see object shadow was showing but was really off i don't know why it can be that i have multitude of window or tabs open here so object shadow off sometimes it turns it on on and off as it wants to so this is so like how i hit the edges and some other visual tools for you to make it easier to see things in fusion like this one you want to look at the model i really like the wireframe to look through the model and see where things are i hope this can be useful for some of you with that said take care see you around and goodbye